to game programmers and game designers. We're going to do Lesson 2 Doom Craft. All right, here's the deal. This is what we're covering. 3D coordinate space, putting a player in a scene, writing scripts that will help move that guy around, and then having some first-person scene controls so we can use the mouse and keyboard to control that guy. So the first thing we have to do is understand 3D coordinate space because m many of you have not done anything in 3D before. Okay, so we're going to create a scene, has a guy, and we're going to use our keyboard and mouse to control him. So what should we do first? Should we A, build a like hello world, B, work with Unity's visual editor, or C, make a plan? Pick one. Write that down in your notes. It's red. Write it down. A, a, B, or C. What should you do? We should plan the project. We got a plan. It's it's a little bit challenging. It's tricky. So we got to do some planning. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up the boundaries, floors, and walls. We're gonna add some lights. We're gonna create a shape for the player and put a camera on his head. And then we're gonna write some scripts to make him look around with the mouse and move with the arrow keys. All right. So the first before we get started with that, we have to understand 3D coordinate space. Everything we are going to build requires that you're going to understand how objects are placed and moved in the 3D space. So let's get going. Okay, so Unity, there's different coordinate systems. There's a right hand, a left hand, but Unity uses a left-handed coordinate system. So we have into the screen, we have the Z axis. To the right and left, we have the X axis, and up and down is the Y. If this is red, write it down. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to create a new project. So you're going to go choose File, New Project. You always have to save the project, and you always have to save the scene. Save it as... Doomcraft level one, and whenever you make any changes, regularly save the scene and save the project. I'm probably not going to remind you of that, but you need to get into the habit of that. Okay, so let's take a look. So what you're going to do is you're going to go file. You're going to make a new a new project. You're going to save it. You're going to have your scene. You're going to save that. You're going to have something that looks like this. Uh, you're going to have Doomcraft with your name on it for the project, and then the scene is going to be Doomcraft level one. Okay, that's where you should be so far. Let's take. Let's keep moving. Okay, what's next? Well, we've got to make the floors and walls. Okay, so let's go on the menu, go Game Object 3D, make a cube. So then what you're going to do is you're going to name that object, okay? So you're going to name it Floor, okay? And then you're going to set the properties like this. Let's see what that looks like. So you're going to come over to the project. Okay, and so you're going to go Game Object, you're going to go 3D, and you're going to go Cube. And you could stretch it out using all this stuff here, right? So we've, we've looked at that before. You can move it around, but what you're going to do is we're going to, so so you're going to make yours look like this. Let me see if I can find the floor. Oh, that's the building lights. Let's go to the building. Yours isn't going to be in this tree yet. We'll do that later. Okay, so we're going to go to the floor, and you're going to just type in these things: zero, negative zero point five. You're going to type type all this in to the inspector, make sure you're not in services, and it's going to turn into a floor. Okay, and don't forget that when you are here, uh, you can. You can move, orbit, and zoom around using those things. I'll help you. I'll help you do that if you don't know how to do it. But let's take a little quick peek. So what you can do is make sure you're in the scene mode. You can zoom in and out with a scrolling the middle mouse. You can click the middle uh, mouse button. You can do the oops. You can do the the left one like this. Okay, the left one with an Alt key click like this. Any rate, so or the right one. That's pardon me. That's the right one. So any rate, you can zoom in and out and around. Now you don't have walls yet. You just have a floor, but you're going to add these walls. In a second, okay. Let's keep looking. Okay, so now build the four outer walls to form a perimeter, name them, and then build inner walls however you want. Okay. And now let's. I'll show you how I did it. So if you want to copy mine exactly, you can. Um, if you want to do your own thing, you can. But let's take a look. So if I look at the outer wall south, you can hit pause and copy that. Outer wall north, same thing. You can look over here, copy that. Hit pause. East, copy that. West, copy that. And the inner walls, you can build those however you want. Okay, um, so let's keep moving. Okay, establish linkages. Now, if we ever want to shrink the whole room, it'd be very cumbersome to have to shrink each wall separately, and then you'd have to move them back to their where they go. So we're gonna better ways to create linkages. So write this down. Okay, let me show you how to make the linkages. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a an empty object, right? So you're gonna build this thing called floor. So you're gonna make a a, a game object. Okay. So you're going to go game object. You're going to create an empty one, okay? And then you're going to name it building. And then you're going to drag all this stuff into it. And so it's going to be nested. Now you can close it and open it. Okay, and the beautiful thing is now you can go to this. And if you change this, let's just play around with it. If I change that to 0.5, you can see I shrunk it by half. And it all goes together. It all works together. So what I want you to do is play around with that. But eventually we're going to make it all uh, 1.2, okay? So you can see that my scale in each axis, x, y, and z axis are all 1.2. So so do that. Okay. 
All right, so let's keep looking and seeing what's next on the spiel. Okay, so write this down if you haven't. Okay, so now create, oh, I already did this. Okay. Okay, we already got that done. All right, wh what is a game object? So we did. We just added that empty game object. Uh, game object. All scene objects are instances of the class game object. Therefore, so they're all going to behave in a particular way. So they're going to inherit all the characteristics of a super class called game object. So they're going to have methods and they're going to have characteristics that they all have. Um, so there's a bunch of there, like cube. You, can, you saw that there's a bunch there. Um, so there you go. All right. Hey, can you see? And the answer is no, there's no light. You've never put any light in. So here's the different kinds of lights. Write that down. Hit pause and write that down. Okay, so you have a directional light that acts like the sun. Uh, you get pretty much the same light no matter where you're at. A point light is going to be like a light bulb. It's going to be brighter here. The further away you get, the dimmer it's going to be. And then you have a spotlight. Okay, so I want you to move the existing directional light up and out of the way and then add some point lights and adjust the range to make it how you want. So let's see what that's going to look like. So that's going to look like you're going to come over here to building lights. You're going to go to the directional light and you can you can move it around and then you can change its rotation however you want. You can change its color, its intensity. You can play around with it and see what it looks like. Okay, then you're going to come over here to component. and No, no. Game object, you're going to go to light and you're going to add some, what do we say, point lights. You're going to add those in. You're going to move them around where you want them to create some interest and shadow in the game. Okay, so if you look at mine, if you want to copy mine, you can see the the different positions there. Okay, you can copy all this. Then there's two, three, and four. But you can you should probably do it the way you want. Okay. All right. And then add the player. So we're just going to add a capsule. Looks like a little pill, and we're going to name it player. And then we're going to uh, position the y-axis 1.1 to get him up a little bit off the floor. We don't want him underneath the floor. Um, and then we're going to remove the capsule collider in the inspector and then, then assign a character controller by saying add component physics character controller. controller. Okay, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to go to... Okay, so we're going to go to this thing. So we're going to go to game object. We're going to go to 3D and we're going to go to capsule. You're going to create a capsule, okay? And then you're going to change. Uh, you're going to change some of his settings, like I said. Okay, so we're going to change the what do we say the the Y was going to be. We said the Y was going to be what 1.1 was on there. Okay, and then he has this capsule collider. Okay, so we're going to click on this. We're going to remove that component. Okay, and then what did we say? Let's go back and see what we said. So then we're going to have to go add component physics character control. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're going to go, so we're on this guy, so we're going to go component, add, physics, character controller. Okay, so now, so basically what that does, instead of him colliding with things like a capsule, he's going to act more like our main character, which is what, what he's supposed to do. Okay. Okay, so one thing we forgot to do, we've got to we got to rename this guy. Okay, so we're gonna call him Capital. Nope, didn't do it. Didn't do it. Okay, renamed him Player. Okay, now we're all set. Okay, in the hierarchy tab, drag the camera onto the player. Okay, so we want the the camera, the main camera, to be right on top of his head. Now the camera is a child to the player, and its coordinates are based off of the Players. Adjust the camera's coordinates to 0 0.50 0, uh, because we need to move it above the uh, move it above his head. All right, so let's take that take a look. So what we're going to do is here's the main camera. We're going to drag that on top of the player. Okay, so now it's a child, and we're going to move change his y to 0 0.5. That's in meters, by the way. So this is all in meters. What just happened? Did that work? Okay, I figured out what I did I, when I had when I was messing with a player. I did it wrong. I changed his scale to 1.1. It needs to be his position, so he was still under, underground. Okay, so we have our player and we have our main camera that is now on top of his head. I ended up having to adjust it a little bit. I I changed the position to one to get it up on top of his head. Okay, all right. Let's keep looking and see. All right, uh, now we need to be able to move the player, and that's going to be part two. So that's it for part one. Uh, go ahead and take those notes, get everything working, and then go on to part two.